Remove the air valve cap. Depress the valve and release air pressure by a rag cover it. Without using rags may cause high-speed liquid splashing and damage personal safety. Loosen the set screw and remove the rebound damper adjuster knob. Loosen both bottom bolts 3 to 4 turns, keep it 2 to 3 mm gap with low leg. Strike each bolt to dislodge the spring and damper from the lower leg. The bolt should contact the bottom of the lower leg. Remove each bottom bolt. Note that the bolt may contain washers. Operate the other side in the same way. Firmly pull the lower leg downward until fluid begins to drain. Remove the lower leg. Remove and discard the foam rings and seals. You can use a screwdriver or a large open-ended wrench to remove the seals. Soak new foam rings in suspension loop. Install the new foam rings into the lower leg. Insert the narrow end of a new seal into the recessed end of the installation tool. Hold the lower leg steady and tap with a mallet, the seal into the lower leg until the seal is flush with the lower leg. Install the outer wire springs. The preloading ring can be installed on either side. Install the lower leg assembly onto the upper tubes. Inject suspension lube into each lower leg through the bottom bolt holes. Please refer to the official manual for oil volume. Continue to pull the upper tube upward to expose the screw shafts on both sides. Install the washers and bolts. Install the rebound adjuster knob. Fill the air pressure to the official recommended value. Install the air cap. 